Hello guys, how you doing? This is King, this is Harp, Harp, King Harper. I'm driving right now, just, you know, driving and stuff. I don't know if y'all can hear me very good, because sometimes, you know, I got a little sports car. So sometimes it be, you know, loud or not. But anyway, I came to talk to y'all about what I'm looking at. I'm looking at a whole bunch of damn construction sites. You know, I live in North Atlanta, where these Mexicans are out here doing a, a good, so-called good job taking away from black people. And I, they've been doing it for a while. And you know Atlanta is a big city. And it's building everywhere. So Latinos are working everywhere. Mexicans, Guatemalans, they all stick together. They come from uh, California to here. Some of them, they're different from California. The ones from California, a lot of times they want to work. The New York ones, they like to sell dope. They like to get in trouble. Or, you know, our either, but all of them got this the world they in. But nevertheless, the United States government is trying to make them a majority over a minority. So they're going to be more than us. They already are being our voting blocks. Black folks don't see it. Black folks don't understand that. Black folks don't understand that. Black folks don't want to understand that. But it's starting to hit you in your damn head. Well, where I live, it's a very nice place. One of the richest zip codes in the in the United States. But you know, you can live affordable in a rich zip code, right? Y'all know that, right? You can live affordable in a rich zip code. So, and affordable would mean high rent. Something like that. But anyway, I want to live there because I like to write. I'm a writer. I like to learn. I learn. I like to educate. I want a safe place for my boys, my, our kids, and my uh, partner. But nevertheless, it ends up where, in this beautiful place I end up at, I mean, we got spiral stairs in our home, different things like that. Okay, we're going to take another exit. We're going to get some to eat. I got, we got nest in our community where immigrants, Mexicans are housing six and seven families in one apartment. These people are renting apartments to them and they're housing them under me and beside me. And they are some type of nasty. They don't care. They have fun. They throw bottles. They hit people cars. They're scratching on people cars. They do a lot of stuff. But then when you drive down the street, where they all live at, they're taking over our area, North Atlanta, Alpharetta, Roswell, you know, all in Marietta, Georgia. And what it is, they're taking over our area, and in their areas where they're taking over, they got nice stuff. They're buying the stores now. They got the Metro PCS up here in Roswell on Holcomb Bridge. If anybody know where that's at, they got stores. They got a laundromat that looks like a brand new gym shoe. I mean, it's unbelievable with a daycare in it. They building like crazy. They're building their communities. White supremacy is trying to buffer them because they're losing numbers of white people. They are losing numbers of white people. So they're trying to help build. But I don't think it's going to work. Because Mexicans and Guatemalans don't conform. They won't conform to white necessarily. Now, some of the men, some of them have, they got the big trucks, and they have conformed to being white, and the police department, and places like that, and um, they have harmed black people, so there are some that are, but like the, the, the uh, black authorities say, they're trying to buffer the ones who will come white, and the ones who don't, they're going to send your ass back home, they want this to happen, but all that's going on over our heads, in our face, in our damn face, black people. And black politicians stood up for it because we thought we were stupid. We thought we were saving something or being about something. Our name was going to get heard or we were going to get to stand up for what, idiot? For your own demise? For your own death? For your own... Uh, for your own blockage? This is their regime... They are 
they are coming to, they winning. So my partner said that when the Republicans show their head again, the Mexicans going to get scared. Well, let me let y'all know. They staring at you, eyeing you down. They roll their eyes at me, but I roll my eyes back. And I told one of them, get the hell away from in front of my car. He walking slow in front of my car with his little work stuff on, trying to say he's something. No, ill manner. They becoming very ill manner. People don't realize that, but I see it because I pay attention to social science and political science. They are coming in now and they're being ill mannered. When I told the guy that I have a block club that I'm part of in my community where we protect each other. We get on Facebook. We went, we realized what's going on in the community. We had the GIB in our community. GB, I mean, GBI, Georgia Bureau Investigators in our community because one of them son of a guns killed, uh, got hurt. We never had that over there because of them. You talk about black folks. But see, what the difference is, black folks and them, is they, the United States government is buffering them. That's the difference. Black folks ain't getting buffered. Now, go ahead and kill yourself, turn, fuck yourself up. Black folks are better, too. We better than them. We fought in our country. We more better scholars. We created a culture that they get uh, comfortable from. We are better than them. We are better. I said it, and I don't regret it. We are better than they are. We are literally better than them. We are better. We created this environment. We're not cowards. We don't go to someone else's environment to take over, to live, to steal. Comfortability. They're still in comfortability. Instead of standing up to their government. We don't know nothing about that. We don't know nothing about running. There's a 15 minute slowdown on I-285 East in 4 miles. We don't know nothing about running. We don't know nothing about running nowhere else. Sorry about my... Um, Navigation, okay? Sorry, guys, about my navigation. Black folks, we don't know a damn thing about running to nobody else's damn country. Continue on I-285 East for one mile. We don't. We don't know nothing about that. We are better. We got scholars. We 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 stood up when they tried to come against us. We got in the street. We risked our lives. Our children went to jail. Black children, which was my mama's age, was in jail at 13 and 14 in the civil rights movement. Doing Jim Crow, let me tell you. We were slaves in the country that we fought for and that we got entertainers, actors, but we still don't have government correction. They leaving that country, they ain't nothing but some damn cowards to come over here and hide in the shadows and take over. And now they don't have to hide in the shadows because black folks, y'all stood up for them and politicians, they ain't thanking you either. They're not frying you no chicken. They're not... Can you turn it down for me? They're not frying you no chicken. The volume. They're not bringing you no candy yams saying, oh, we at they stores? They got stores. Mexican people got stores. Black folks don't. They got stores. Black people don't. Have they said, well, we want to get together and show the black people that we appreciate them if it wasn't for black people standing up for us? No, they're not saying that. And that's exactly what happened. Black people stood up. Jim Clyburn, all of y'all, these um, politicians in Georgia stood up for immigration. Black folks at the grassroots making human chain line to keep ice from taking them back. How in the hell is that your fight? You ain't got nothing in America, no way. How you gonna let somebody else come here with their own home, with their own country, to eat off your damn plate, and you can't even eat off of it? You're a fool. You don't understand politics. You think that's being benevolent? You think that's being kind? Well, I'll tell you what you want to do if you want to do something kind. Make that potato salad and that fried chicken and have some meats for Boone Sugar and, 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 and Tyrone and TJ and all of us in the community and help each other. That's what you do. You want to be kind. Start talking to the men so they can start talking to the Ray Rays in our community.
Let's educate each other. Make some potato salad, fried chicken, get together. If, they, if we don't turn out a good meeting in, in the first meeting, then keep on having the meetings. Invite all the black grassroots people to come. Tell them thank you for standing up for, for politics for us and get corrected. Tell them we want our 40 acres in the mule or our equivalent of it in today's dollar. You want to do something for somebody because y'all killing us and I'm highly pissed. Out here standing up for other groups because the, the, the world say you can. Because Democrats say this is fashionable. We can do this right now. So black people jumping on the fashionable train. Oh yeah, did he... This, well, let's stand up for these Mexicans and Guatemalans. He's doing them wrong. That's racist what he's doing. He's doing them like they did us. How in the hell are they doing like they did us? We were forced to have children for property. They had us on farms like you do pigs and working. Don't you never don't you never in your life uh, equate me to no damn Mexican or Guatemalan of what I experienced in this country and my rich and powerful historical legacy to this country. Don't you ever in your life, out your mouth, have some respect for yourself, black people. I ain't never seen no Mexican Malcolm X or no Mexican uh, Martin Luther King. We the best scholars in the global diaspora. I ain't never seen no Mexican slave over here working for free, building. I ain't never seen no inventors, Mexican inventors. I ain't never seen them. We invented everything. Mary Jane McLeod Bethune. I ain't never seen no Mexican woman with no almost 20 degrees and going to help the people in the White House. I ain't never seen no Mexican Frederick Douglass who they couldn't even enslave because he was too smart. We built this country. We they bread and butter. They biting their hand to feed them. Y'all got it wrong. And they in your face taking what you got. And they becoming police officers and they shooting and killing you with impunity. You better wake up. Especially you black folks down there in the more rural areas. Where you don't see what they doing. Because see in the rural areas, Mexicans struggle too. They work and stuff. But Martin, Mississippi, they got some stores they building there now. Well, let me tell you, in Atlanta and uh, places like uh, Texas, Mexicans got gas stations and car washes and 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 and, and, and laundry mats and grocery stores and being able to live in your community with vouchers that come off of your tax dollars and your blood sacrifice. So I'm gonna end off with saying this because it's the United States government fault. Cut the check.